we want to solve the exact first order differential equation. For the entry format, we're asked to write the solution so that the equation is in implicit form. The highest degree term containing only x has a coefficient of one and the constants are combined and moved to the right hand side of the equation. An exact differential equation fits one of these two forms here and the partial of n with respect to y must equal the partial of n with respect to x. So notice how the given differential equation fits this form here where y prime equals dy dx. This tells us that m of x comma y equals three x squared plus eight x y minus three and that n of x comma y equals negative twelve y squared plus four x squared plus five. So for our next step, we'll verify the partial of n with respect to y equals the partial of n with respect to x. So for the partial of n with respect to y, we'll differentiate m with respect to y, treating x as a constant. So the derivative of three x squared with respect to y would be zero. The derivative of eight x y with respect to y would be eight x. And the derivative of negative three with respect to y would be zero. And now for the partial of n with respect to x, we'll differentiate n with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So the derivative of negative twelve y squared with respect to x is zero. The derivative of four x squared with respect to x is eight x. And the derivative of five with respect to x is zero. So notice how the partial of m with respect to y does equal the partial of n with respect to x, which verifies we do have an exact differential equation, which means the solution is going to be in the form of f of x comma y equals a constant c, such that the partial of f with respect to x equals m, and the partial of f with respect to y equals n. So now let's work on determining our solution. Because we know the partial of f with respect to x equals m, we can recover part of the function f of x comma y by integrating m with respect to x. I say part of the function f of x comma y because if we integrate with respect to x, we're not going to recover the y terms of f of x comma y. And therefore we'll have to include plus a function of y in the antiderivative. So we have f of x comma y equals the integral of m, which is three x squared plus eight x y minus three integrated with respect to x. So f of x comma y equals, integrating with respect to x, we would have three times x cubed divided by three, or x cubed, plus, again, we're treating y as a constant because we're integrating with respect to x, so we'd have eight y times x squared divided by two, that'd be four x squared y, and then minus the integral of three with respect to x would be three x. And again, we're not recovering the y terms of f of x comma y, so we'll have plus a function of y, which will let be h of y. And we could include the constant of integration in h of y. Now we also know the partial of f with respect to y equals n, which is given here. So we'll compare n to the partial of f with respect to y using the function f that we just found. So n of x comma y must equal Again, the partial of f with respect to y using this function, well the derivative of x cubed with respect to y would be zero. The derivative of four x squared y with respect to y would be four x squared. The derivative of negative three x with respect to y would be zero. And the derivative of h of y with respect to y would be h prime of y. So we have plus h prime of y. And now we'll compare the terms of n of x comma y and the partial derivative that we just found. Notice here we have four x squared and four x squared, but now we're left with h prime of y and negative twelve y squared plus five. So this tells us that h prime of y must equal negative twelve y squared plus five. From here we can find h of y by integrating both sides of the equation. And once we find h of y, we can substitute h of y here and we'll have all of the terms in f of x comma y. Now we'll integrate both sides of this equation with respect to y. So the integral of h prime of y dy equals the integral of negative twelve y squared plus five dy. 
Well, the integral of h prime of y dy is just h of y. Now on the right side when we integrate, we'll have negative 12 times y cubed divided by three, that'd be negative four y cubed. And the integral of five with respect to y would be five y. And then again, we're not going to include a constant of integration because remember our solution is in the form of f of x comma y equals c. So the constant will already be on the right side. But again, now that we know h of y equals negative four y cubed plus five y, we can perform that substitution here and we now have our function f of x comma y. f of x comma y is equal to x cubed plus four x squared y minus three x plus h of y, which is minus four y cubed plus five y. Let's write these terms in descending order. We'd have f of x comma y equals x cubed minus four y cubed plus four x squared y minus three x plus five y, which means the solution to our differential equation, which again is in the form of f of x comma y equals c, is f of x comma y equals c. So going back to our first slide, we want to enter our solution here. Notice how we already have equals c on the right, so we just enter f of x comma y here on the left. I hope you found this helpful.